Let's get down to business! Extreme Cage Combat 4 Pandemonium. Travis Bell here with Jeff Munson. Well, hopefully tonight is a sellout crowd here at the XCC4 Pandemonium at Tacoma Dome, Tacoma, Washington. Tacoma Dome is great. It's a big facility. It's a great place to have. Um, I like coming here. I've been here a couple times. And What is the difference between going from amateur to pro? I'm you know, going to a big crowd and you go into an arena and all this kind of stuff. But the thing is, this is a pro event. You know, these are amateurs fighting, but you've got, you know, a 15,000 seat arena, a uh, bunch of people here. You got the pyrotechnics, obviously, <laughs> the big screen, the fans. The Does that prepare the guys, obviously, for that? I think so. This isn't like you're in uh, some dojo in a ring with 100 people stuffed packed in there like when I first started off. This is. You know, this this is what a pro event would look like. Well, Washington seems to me like they produce some phenomenal fighters from, of course, you know, Jeff, you, to, you know, Randy Couture, to Dennis Hallman. You got Matt Linlin and Chael Sonnen and... Ivan have, Salivary. I mean, Ivan Salivary, Reese Sandy, a lot of good guys coming out here. Josh Barnett, can't forget him, former UFC champion. Maurice Smith, former UFC champion. Great, all out, all out of the Northwest. Now walking out right now is 16-year-old Tyler the Phenom Michaelis. He's 16. The fighting guys. But I mean, he's fighting a guy who's 25 years old. So the guy's a man, and, and, and Tyler's 16 years old. I don't know how he's doing it at 16 years old. Um, you know, he's 4-0. He, he's, this is a second title defense. He's, he's the XCC champion right now. He's not some up-and-comer, you know, trying to take the belt or you know, like, oh, this guy's a you know, phenomenal athlete. Let's see what he can do. This guy actually owns the bell. He's 16 years old. He and, won uh, it when he was 15, too. 15. Amazing. He's actually the first uh, uh, freshman wrestler of Olympia High School to go to state in wrestling. Uh, phenomenal wrestler. Wow. My mom was still pouring me Lucky Charms when I was 15. Is a title defense. But of course, he's of sitting the right there with his dad, the promoter, Trevor Michaelis. Weight class, rise of a champion. The challenger out of the red corner was defeated by Jerry Allen at RTV. He has two wins and two losses. Trains with Castro Cage fighting and hails from Kelso, Washington. Give it up for Elliot Allman. Not a, not a lot of people liking El Elliot Allman. He's getting His food. opponent out of the blue corner is only 16 years old. <laughs> Making his second title defense with four wins and zero losses. Training with Victory Athletics and hailing out of Olympia, Washington. Give it up for Tyler the Fina McKay. I'm just amazed that he's 16. I mean, he just got his driver's license to drive. I had to help him put his car in reverse yesterday. And now, now I mean, most 16-year-old guys are, you know, hanging out, sitting at home, having curfews. And Saturday night at 10:30, 11 o'clock at night, he's fighting in a cage against a 25-year-old man. Ellie's got the big Fu Mandu beard. I don't know if Tyler shaves yet. And Tyler's coming out the aggressive, throwing strikes. Look at this! Look at this! Throwing strikes. Uppercuts, holding his head. Tyler's in phenomenal shape, too. I've worked out with him, trained with him, and he just goes, goes, goes. Doesn't stop. Well, Elliot survives the initial onslaught. What does Elliot need to do to stay, I mean, in this? I mean, now he's coming out just getting hit with blow He, needs, he blow just needs to knees. relax, do what he's doing, relax. I mean, do you take a step back and gain, gain yourself? He needs to get in a little better position. Right now, he's just covering up. Tyler's got the mount or the got the hooks in. Now this fight could be over. Tyler loves putting the hooks in and just rain punch down down on his opponent. His last fight, the referee stopped it because of that. Fighting for a choke right now. What does he need to do? Just yank up on the head as hard as he can and he slide needs, his forearm on his He needs to. I think he needs to hit him a little more. Make Elliott open up. That way he can slide that arm underneath there and get the get the choke. 
Matt Hume's a master at this. This is Matt Hume's forte. Yeah, he's off to the side. He doesn't have nothing right now. Keeps the legs in. Doing a very good job of staying on the back. He's off to the side a little bit right now, but climbing right back yeah. into good position. Yeah, he tells you, you know, young guys just a little unfamiliar with that position in MMA. Elliot did a good job just holding himself up. Now he's going for a guillotine. Elliot slips out. It just amazes me that Tyler's only 16 years old. I mean, that's just a phenomenal athlete. I mean, he's in good shape. He's now Elliot with the reversal now. You see Tyler can hold himself on the bottom and keep, uh, keep his composure. Well, that's the thing. A lot of the guys that Tyler's fought and have not been on top of him throwing punches on him. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of anxious to see how he reacts to it, if he keeps his composure or the age is a factor and he kind of gets nervous about it. Yeah, you know, Elliot's had four fights. Oh. oh, oh, there's an arm bar. He's close. Wow, that's Done. it. Tyler with a sneaky little arm bar. Front back, like we just talked about, holds his composure, gets in an arm bar. That's it. Nice. 16 nice. years old. He moves to 5 0. Oh. That's his second title defense. He's an XCC 155 pound champion. And Elliot Allman, of course, I mean, did a good job. I mean, he's going against one of the top ranked fighters in Washington. Yeah. I mean, and you can't, I mean, he's 16 years old, but he's a phenomenal fighter. Don't hold that against him. The guy came to fight. You know, Elliot came in, um, he obviously had some experience and uh, put up a good fight, but, you know, Tyler's just a, uh, you know, he's just a special kind of athlete. 